Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This is your weekly reading for the 15th to the 21st of August and a lot of us will have been on holiday and come back. So I hope you're all well and safe and you can take um, one card for each day or you can look at the, the reading, um, general reading as a general reading uh, altogether take from it what you can and of course the three oracle cards uh, either on Monday or one for the whole week or you can take number two or three or take Monday Wednesday and Friday because energy does change and it's been pretty hot here so let's get started with the first card for Saturday Saturday the 15th and I'm using two new decks and three new decks. This one is the um, Tarot of the Kingdom of the Kingdoms and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy and these are the little messages. Uh, this one is from um, what's her name? Uh, her name is Paige o Ozma Ashmore Osma Eskimo, then we've got the Lenaman from Christopher Butler and the Oracle cards from Anne Ellis from Anne Ellis Tarot on YouTube. You can have a look at all the reviews and you can get into contact with the authors because um, uh, I've left all the information underneath the video. We start off with the tarot card and the first card that you have is the fool and they're really psychedelic and here you can see it looks like a bear a baby bear and he's pondering and he's thinking shall I shan't I shall I shan't I it's just like the fool in the traditional will he jump off the cliff or not Take that leap of faith, my darling, um, because you are ready. So on Saturday, you might be taking a leap of faith and starting something new. And the confirmation card is, just a moment, uh, the confirmation card or clarification card is the rider number one in the learner month so it confirms that this is a new beginning if you want it then take that leap of faith and you've got the nine of hearts which is the nine of cups your wish is coming true where there is an ending there is also a new beginning because a nine is an ending and a new beginning then we go on to Sunday and Sunday you have the Eight of Fire. The Eight of Fire is the Eight of Wands and it looks like uh, there is a fairy or an angel come down and bringing you news. Now if we go into the normal uh, tarot cards then the Eight of Fire is the Eight of Wands and there's eight wands flying through the sky but here the angel has flown through the sky look he's left his mark behind where he's coming from I think it's beautiful and it's giving bringing you news so this might be cyber news email text message or a telephone call and there might be things happening all at once swiftly like this Vroom, just down there you might even travel as that card also tr um, resembles travel I've been talking a lot for the last three four days so that's why I stumble over my words sorry if I do the clarifying card for that card is the boat the ship your ship is coming in that is the ten of spades something is coming to an end and there is a new beginning abundance is yours you've been creative or you are creators as you as you have three creativity is bursting on all sides if you look at this deck um, or this card rather 
energy all over its orange so it's action 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 and it is what the eight of wands stand for okay action swiftness loads happening so your boat of abundance is coming in this card also means travel but so does the boat you might be moving home or going on holiday then on Monday we have the hanged man something might be stalled or delayed this card also means take time out to meditate contemplate and evaluate look at things from a different perspective now when I get the hanged man I usually say there could be a delay of four hours four days four weeks or four months so if you're traveling your flight might be or your boat might be delayed for four hours or perhaps four days in that event I would take say on Monday check your itinerary before you go away whether the rules or regulations have changed or not especially with the COVID virus um, because travel is restrained then we have number eight from the Lenemann and we've also got the nine of pentacles so money is coming towards you abundance this could be money but could be love but I think it's something material abundance eight is also the powerhouse of money of uh, of inheritance or you might be winning the lottery who knows but money is coming towards you and you are in your power okay I'm going to leave them like this I hope I can do that because I don't want to drown out any of the other cards I would like you to see them because they're really psychedelic they're really colorful then on Tuesday we have the Queen of Earth the Queen of Earth represents fertility she also everything is fertile for a new beginning you can start sowing seeds if you haven't so that could have been the delay that you haven't yet because of a delay of some kind and that you haven't been able to sow the seeds on Monday but you can on Tuesday the Queen of Pentacles is um, Virgo so you might be meeting a Virgo but don't exclude uh, Capricorn or Taurus as well but it's prominently Virgo okay she also represents hearing of a birth or finding out you're pregnant um, or this birth could be a child or a project something that you've sown the seeds for perhaps you've been looking for a job you went to the job interview and now you've got it uh, because you're going to you've grown it you've nurtured it and it's come to fruition and you are harvesting it on Tuesday so you most probably have the job because there is news in this week okay boom and um, the Lenamon card is the whips the whips and that is the jack or page rather of uh, clubs so the jack of clubs will bring you news perhaps regarding this job this is also um, that you could meet a fire sign and the fire sign uh, page of clubs that is um, Capricorn no that's Earth uh, Sagittarius I beg your pardon that is Sagittarius so you could be meeting a Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarius um, but that's the prominent uh, figure um, but it could also be an Aries or a Leo you've got number 11 which one and one is two so you're in balance all this news will bring you in balance or bring you a new start as that's the angel number and that looks to me like a doorway so that is a new beginning on Tuesday Wow, delay is over then we go on to Wednesday and on Wednesday we have the star so your wish or goal is coming true the star also represents um, Aquarius 
So you might be meeting an Aquarius or there might be an Aquarius around you as you have 21 and that is the mountain. That is the mountain. So don't make a fly, uh, uh, um, sorry, don't make an elephant out of a fly. And this is again the eight of clubs which you have here. So again, things are still happening swiftly and quickly. All at once, it will just not rain but pour. Things are happening. Again, a three. Okay, a three. Two and one is a three, and this is an eight. So again, money and power. So you might be getting uh, news about money or something that you that makes you stand in your power stronger. But you might be seeing, on the other hand, uh, you might be making problems where there aren't any problems. You don't have to climb the mountain. You can walk the path. Okay. And here I see more things in the cards because they are so detailed. And here you are, you've got birds. Um, so you will receive news either when the sun is just coming up or before the sun is going to set. And these are just looks like the wings of um, an angel. So I think you might be getting messages from angels. Like if you see a feather or a penny, that's the angels talking to you. But you, things are happening swiftly. On Thursday, we have the High Priestess. And again, number two. So you're in balance. You're in balance. Listen to your intuition. You might be highly sensitive. Okay, you might be highly sensitive. 15th to the 21st, we are changing energy here. We're going from the Leo into Virgo. So that is on Friday, but um, the energy, time is man-made. You might already be feeling that Virgo energy on Thursday. So there you are. Listen to your emotion uh, and listen to your in in intuitiveness your new ideas if or dreams or anything like that you might be very sensitive to this new change and this new energy that is coming in okay she does represent the moon goddess but here we've got the moon and the sun okay those are the two pillars so um, there might be also a new beginning as that represents number 11 for me and it's usually in the moon and the world card that I no, not the world card yes in some decks the world card that I see but it's definitely big changes something might be gnawing at you as you have the uh, mice and also the Eight of Clubs. The Eight of Clubs is the Eight of Wands. That can't be right. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. My excuses, it is seven. The Seven of Clubs. That is the Seven of Wands. So you might want to defend yourself. So listen to your intuition, because something is gnawing at you as mice gnaw. And they work in groups. So you might be stressing out because you have to meet a deadline by the 21st, the change of the energy. Okay. Um, we also, um, the mice also means theft or loss. So that might be worrying you that there is theft or loss. Okay. So ask people, have you seen this, that or the other? And you might be able to find it back. Listen to your intuition as what they, it is saying. Okay. Play your cards close to your chest. Don't give out any information that anybody can steal or pinch. Perhaps you might be doing something um, that you want uh, an idea to come into um, the material world, to become real. That could be your wish. So play your cards close to your chest. Don't tell everything to anybody. Okay. 
until you are right, until you feel you are right. Listen to your higher self. Then we have the sun. And this is a real psychedelic. Then I have to think of the Beatles. You've got the sun. Um, but first of all, we're going to go to this card. We have the King of Earth, the King of Pentacles. And it's symbolized with a reindeer. And let your imagine go with these cards. Because he's got, um, how do you call it, uh, um, his headdress, I don't know, his horns, uh, his like a crown, he's got loads. And when I look at this, and uh, it looks like he's got his finger in many pies because actually the king of earth means he's got the meter's touch that's where the gold light comes in to represent gold money he's um, um, the king of pentacles or the king of earth is taurus so you might be meeting a taurus he could be a good businessman and he takes things steady and slowly he invests the gates first before he invests everything that he touches turns to gold so everything that you touch today will turn out positive but make sure you read the small print in contracts or letters or anything like that this you are in the spotlight because you've got the sun and this is also the ace of pentacles so there is a new beginning, perhaps a new venture, or perhaps new business, a new investment. This could be a birth, this could be also buying a house, moving home, a new job, a promotion, something new is going to happen today, and that will be Friday. Okay, because this goes from Fri uh, Friday, Saturday, it's not Friday, Saturday, Sunday, to Friday, the next Friday. Okay, and the sun also means, of course, traveling, birth, fertility, birth being a child or a project, like I said, a new investment or a new home. The sun also means moving home. Um, going up the next level from being engaged in getting married or from going out and having a relationship actually moving in with each other you are in the spotlight but something also is being illuminated as the sun the stars and the moon are spotlights and they shine light on you and you are in the brim of the of the rays of the light so there could be a Leo interested in you or here again a pentacle uh, person the diamonds this could be the king of, uh, of pentacles a Taurus but it could also be a Virgo or a Capricorn now you need more information with regards to a situation or an issue. Perhaps the, you need more information with regards to an investment so that it will turn out to be your pot of gold. Awesome. Now we're going, you can choose one card for the whole week or you can choose um, uh, one, two, three or all three together. Like beginning of the week, midweek and the end of the week. These are the cards by Anne Alice, and first of all, we have balance. Love. How can you give more love? How can you receive more love? They're very simple drawings. They're all the same. There's no different pictures, but different sayings. So balance is earthy energy trying to find the balance perhaps financially okay or practically then we have inspiration new idea sensitivity your sensitivity is your power this could be around Friday although this is Thursday it can start on Thursday because the 21st is happening on Friday then we're moving from Leo into Virgo 
sensitivity your sensitivity is your power but you might be more sensitive okay that's the air then we have action and that's fire energy confidence go for it what are you waiting for and that is the fool so go every card in this deck is saying take action go for it make sure you get the information along the way then and play your cards close to your chest but don't shy away to ask for help from anybody okay and your wish is coming true but you have to take action in order to let it come true okay you've planted the seeds where's the queen here you've planted the seeds now start nurturing so that your dream can come true and the delay can stop that was here on Monday and at the weekend you're going to have delays but it's going to pick up on um, Saturday and definitely on Sunday I hope you have enjoyed this reading for your week so take care and take it as you like and remember this is a general reading so you can take either one card at each time or take the whole reading in one go I hope you enjoy it stay safe and have a beautiful week thank you please like and share